everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey everyone. So this video is going to be extremely long. It's going to be a rant. I have a lot to say you guys and I'm hoping that it doesn't come off too wrong but I know that a lot of people are going to be offended and it's totally, totally fine with me but yeah it's just something that I wanted to talk about and I don't know who else to talk about it to except for you guys because people in the United States they have no idea about what's happening in German pop culture so let's get going. Um, my neighbors are really loud so you're most likely going to hear them yelling I have no idea talking so just bear if you do hear that. I watch or I have been watching a lot of videos lately about being black in Germany or a lot of videos that have been in reaction to certain white people and I'm saying white and black because it's easier for me to distinguish certain people when I'm making stories and references so I don't want to do that but it's easier for me and I think it's easier for you guys than if I say well this person that person that person that person just this person said this that person said that but it all makes sense I guess sort of in the end. I've been watching like I said a whole bunch of videos about this but one thing that has come up that is very popular it was very popular like a week or two ago was the I guess Shireen David scandal which you guys probably have no idea about this because I know a bunch of my viewers do not watch or care about this kind of stuff but I sort of follow some not a lot but I so sometimes follow these types of things because I find them to be intriguing and it's interesting how the United States has such a pool especially urban culture on Germany and in Germany that I just I wanted to follow it and see what happened. So Shireen David to me is like a watered down Nicki Minaj and I'm not saying this to be mean I actually like her I like her music I like her as an influencer she's like building an empire she has like perfume or something she has music she's been on TV she has a YouTube like she's just a sort of a big deal a lot of people are going to disagree with me but she has i think like five million followers on instagram i don't know like maybe a million or two or five million on youtube like she's a big deal to a lot of younger individuals in germany and especially if you're in the urban scene i guess she's like the princess of that so she made a music video that was very um controversial to a lot of people they were upset because she stole the idea the video idea from a black American rapper and one of the outfit ideas was stolen from two black American influencers and I'm saying this that they are black because it has pool and there's a reason why I'm not just saying it to say that they were black or white there's a reason why but there was a girl she basically said in her video that she liked the song which I totally agree with I'm a little biased I like this girl's music it makes you feel good it's not you know intelligent music it's not top grade a1 music not at all but if you're wanting to party if you're looking for something that has a nice beat for me the music sounds good and a lot of people have actually said this too so I know I'm not crazy and the only one that thinks that but this girl this black girl um, and she claim claimed herself to be black so I'm not just saying it this is what she called herself she said she liked the video she was okay with it you know it was good she didn't love it or anything but she was okay with it then came so many comments on her videos about how Shireen, this white German influencer, stole from these black American people in the United States. So at the time, I didn't know about this either, but it was, became such a big deal. I kept seeing it on social media. YouTube kept pushing these videos out to me, so I wanted to watch and see what happened. So basically, this girl, this German influencer, stole the visual the video visuals from a german or from an american rapper who happens to be black and she also stole an outfit from two american influencers that happen to be black now this happens every day in i guess the world kim kardashian does it every single day but for me that all has to do with the United States, but this finally had a pool on Germany. And so I wanted to see how a German person, a black German person reacted to this. And she actually was okay with it, but then came the hundreds of people in the comment section saying that she stole it, she was trying to be black, she hates black people, she doesn't want to give credit where credit's due, you know, she needs to cultural appropriation, respect black people, give credit to black people, you know, her whole influence is behind being black and all this stuff. There are many problems with all of this stuff, you guys, but the main problem that I saw was when this girl replied to them. She replied that she did not know who they were, but she was going to Google and find out about the information that people were saying. Before she could Google this, you guys, because I was stalking, I just wanted to see what she said because it was interesting. I was hoping that she would be like, she would say something totally different or she would react in a different way, but she did not. 
She started liking the comments that said that she hated black people, she was stealing from black people, um, she had a fake butt, fake lips, um, all this stuff to look black and whatnot. So that was like the first problem that really bothered me with this. And it's very crazy to see because that means that these people that are commenting on this video saying that she's trying to be black, which a bunch of them were saying that they were black, this is how black people in Germany are thinking. And for me, it's very, very sad because I've actually made whole, so many different types of videos about racism in Germany and being a person of color, black person, whatever you want to call me. To a lot of people, I am black. To a bunch of people, I'm not. But at being as a person of color in Germany, I've made a bunch of videos about this, giving it the benefit of the doubt. When someone brings a culture, and I'm going to say the urban rap culture to Germany, what I feel like this German influencer Shireen white girl is trying to do, She's bringing all of the negativity with it. And I don't know if it's a good thing, like it's nice to have rap music, it's nice to have this Nicki Minaj, not really much Inhalt, but a very nice beat music to listen to, to dance to. I like that, but I don't like the negativity that's coming with it. But it's just so toxic, you guys. So many people that come out of the woodwork and say that how a black person is supposed to be. This is what I found to be the most heartbreaking when people say she's getting a fake butt, she's getting fake lips to look black and then getting mad at her for stealing an outfit from black people in the United States that have gotten their butts done, their lips done, tummy tucks done to have the ideal black body that people claim even though they're black. And that just goes to show how much of a influence people's words and this idea of what the ideal typical black body is. And it's very sad because that is not true. I know so many black girls that do not look like Nicki Minaj. I know so many black girls that do not listen to Nicki Minaj. I know so many black girls that do not care about this kind of stuff. But I also see currently in Germany this division going around and happening between black and white individuals. And I already said and I spoke about the division between German people and Turkish people, but now I see this division of black and white people in Germany. And I'm not speaking from a point of like, these white people are being so rude. I'm seeing it when I see all these black people talking about it, it's usually black people saying that white people are trying to be black because they are copying rap culture, because they're copying cornrows, because they are copying this. People are getting upset now that some people wear cornrows or dreads or this, and they call it a black person hairdo. Now, <laughs> I don't think that we should make anything exclusive to one group of people. It combats equality. It does not fight for equal rights, what I feel like a lot of people are striving for, especially for black activists. I feel like that's what a lot of people, they're striving for equality. But when you want to exclude people from doing one thing or doing something because it is black culture, it just boggles my mind and it's so counterproductive to what people are fighting for. The funny thing is, is that when I talk about this topic, there's never a middle person for each place. It's either a very, very extreme black activist on this side, or it's a really, really extreme white activist on that side. And they're both very negative people. And that's the thing is that people always want me to talk about the horrible things happening to black people or the horrible things happening to white people and currently in my stage right now where I'm at in life which it may change and I may have a different perspective but what I see right now are two very different groups of people being very negative and dirty towards one another. Just like I watched a video the other day about a, I wanna say a German girl, and she was mixed. She said she was mixed. She made it very known that she was mixed and that she was from the United States, but her mom was German. And this girl, she made a video about, um, I think a lot of people have actually watched it. Her name is Kira something. And she's a black girl that lives in Germany. I think her father's in the military. I don't know the exact story behind it. And she made a video about how German people, or what if like being black in Germany. I think I've made this video too because, you know, for a lot of people, I'm a person of color, they relate to me, they look like me, they have the skin, same skin color or hair like me, they wanna know what it's like. And me and her, we sort of, our videos, they sort of agreed with one another. There were some things that I don't experience because I'm not the same color as her and a light bulb for a lot of people. People that are different shades of different colors experience things a lot different. I will, I'm very privileged being a male that is automatically a privilege or you know, being white male, that's an automatic privilege. Me being lighter, which there's nothing I can do about it, 
that gives me an automatic advantage to a bunch of dark people or darker people than I am because of the society that we live in now and how they value skin color. It shouldn't be like that, but it is. So I do not know what this girl's whole thing was like because I do not, I cannot relate to her in that aspect but I agreed about I want to say 80% of what she said so then this German girl was commenting on it and she was so she this American German girl I should say and she was so arrogant so ignorant so rude and I honestly couldn't believe and this is what I'm talking about and that there's two extremes and I don't know if it's because women because I do not see this happening with men you know how many white rappers in Germany have copied and stolen um, lyrics, songs, beats from rappers in the United States, black rappers in the United States. Do you know how many have done that? Many, you guys, many, a, a lot. I've listened to it, even on my 2019 playlist. I hear songs that are stolen from certain rappers in the United States that are black. The white guy in Germany, he does the same thing and it's okay. So I don't understand for women why we have come to this culture to attack each other. And I feel like the one girl who attacked the darker girl, I couldn't explain why she was attacking this girl. It was, you know, you disagree with her, that's fine, but she was being hateful, rude, mean and i'm just like where's this nastiness coming from and it could just be a personal thing which it probably is a personal thing but sometimes i feel like she was from the united states so it's very clear to see that she is from the united states and that she lives in the united states because of how much hatred was coming out about race and that is what i'm talking about the difference between race and germany and the united states that it's very clear to see how much negativity it comes from when people in germany say oh racism racism is in germany i'm getting treated differently because i'm black yes that could be the case and that probably is the case but if you've never been to the united states and never experienced racism in the united states i can't think of any other reason non-violent criminals go to jail for speeding or you know parking ticket or whatever i i know instances like this happen in the united states and i have yet to experience this in germany so then when people say that they experience racism in germany and they try to relate it to racism in the united states it's not the same and i'm just like when you talk about this and when you want to bring the racism from the united states you want to bring this combative Germany versus the United States, black people versus white people versus cultural appropriation and throw it all together, you're going to create a big problem. And when I see a bunch of people in Germany that are darker than me, that are black, whatever, that are people of color, that are following these trends, it's always funny because they do not want what's happening in the United States or they, re they see what's happening in the United States and they think it's really shitty. White people too though, I'm not saying that anybody's exempt from being like scalded from what i'm saying because that's not to say that okay i do think it's wrong that someone steals something some something from one another but also i don't think it's enough to say or to attack someone if you say oh my gosh she copied something from this black rapper i do not think it's acceptable then to then go on a whole rant about one certain specific type of person and that person being a black rapper in the united states and then tying that image of blackness to everybody in the united states or every black person in the world and that is the problem and i'm i i honestly i don't know you guys why it's happening right now i think it's because it's one of those trigger things race gets you a whole bunch of views race gets you a whole bunch of emotions people act on emotions people act on triggers and this is what people want but i'm just i'm so sad that it's happening in germany because i've talked about racism in germany so much and how i think that it's going in the right direction but when i see certain groups like the afd becoming more powerful and more prevalent in germany and then when i see groups of black people saying that cultural appropriation for everything i just see where it's headed and where it's headed is not a good place i've lived in the united states you guys i've witnessed racism i've witnessed hatred i've witnessed people horrible things happening to people because of the color of their skin and in germany yes it happens but i think people are going to have a rude awakening if it starts happening to the extent and to the same degree that it happens in the United States. And that is all I'm trying to get people to think about on a different level is that even if you are white and you are racist, do you really want it to get to how it is in the United States? And if you are German or black in Germany, it's, it's something to ask yourself, do you want it to get as bad as in the United States? You keep saying 
that it's the same and you keep pulling and wanting it to be the same and all this culture this rap culture is being brought over here and it's just generalizing everybody that's a certain color a certain way and do you really want that in germany and that's all i'm trying to put out but i think i'm done with this topic now maybe i'll make a part two but for now i'm just like i'm over it you guys it's so Ugh, it's so toxic and like I said, I know a lot of people are gonna not agree with me at all And that's perfectly fine. You're allowed to not agree with me Sometimes I don't agree with myself I watch my videos a year later six months two years and I say oh my gosh I can't believe I said that cringe and it's good to learn It's good to talk and speak and have an opinion It might come around and bite you one day in the ass like this might but it's I guess good for me to grow and maybe someone will learn something from this and why the way that they're acting is not appropriate or maybe it needs a check and that's why i make these types of videos but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching i love you guys have a wonderful day and bye bye